Okay, we've tried this two times already. Let's see if it works again. Good morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with our brand new weather overtime look for you. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather, check out wreg.com slash weather. Also in all those other formats up there, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, WordPress, Tumblr, Periscope, Instagram, and working on the Game Boy thing up there, but haven't quite gotten there just yet. Other things we've improved for just a little bit. If you'd like to find out more as soon as I figure out which way I'm pointing. It's temperature as of right now, expected high temperature today, and looking at lows tonight in the lower bar down that direction. And if you have any questions or concerns about this or something you'd like to see on here, data, graphics, forecast-wise, please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com. Taking a look around the area for this afternoon, early this afternoon, breezy winds out of the west-northwest, and not seeing, again, too much of a major concern where any rain is seen anytime soon. We will see those clouds be sticking around throughout the rest of the day today, off and on, so call it partly cloudy to mostly sunny at times and varying back and forth between that. Sunset today will be at 524, a little bit earlier into tomorrow as we gain daylight heading back toward the vernal equinox or the spring equinox, which will be coming up in about 51 days or so, give or take. Almanac page, nothing to show you in the way of precipitation for yesterday. We're still ahead for the year, not doing too bad out there. We've got, again, a little bit of a surplus out there for right now of about an inch plus in the bank for the month and also for the year. So definitely good news uh, as where that's concerned. So nothing in the way of major amounts of problems with rainfall so far. Temperatures yesterday in the Mid-South, it was a very beautiful day out there with numbers back into around the mid to upper 60s for high temperatures. Normally we should be at a low of 33 and yesterday's low back to about 45 degrees or so. So again, a little bit above normal for this time of the year and not doing too bad where it comes to the record high 75 degrees set back in 1952 for today Thursday anything in the way of major amounts of rainfall is just not going to be seen across the mid-south for today temperatures by the time the kids get out of school will be at their maximum back into around the lower to mid 40s north of I-40 south of I-40 temperatures in the upper 40s and the thickest amount of cloud cover will be northeastern Arkansas and northwestern areas of Tennessee and that'll be dropped on down to the south end of the east. So the clouds will be kind of coming and going. Some sunshine here. Try saying that three times fast. That again will be the main problem for later on today. Temperatures by dinner time heading through about the early to mid evening hours. Mid to upper 30s across much of the mid south. Just realize I'm cutting off some of the viewing area. Let me get that settled. There we go. Mid to upper 30s across much of the area. And as we get into around portions of tomorrow, around the time the kids hit the school bus stop and you're getting up to get going in the morning, temperatures will be close to freezing across much of the Mid-South. Now the good news for tomorrow is that winds will be coming in from out of the west, northwest. They're going to be fairly light, but there's going to be just enough of a breeze out there to make certain the kids need to be bundled up if you're going to be doing anything outdoors with them, waiting for the school bus or otherwise. High temperatures tomorrow, right about where they are today, back in the mid to upper 40s to maybe a few lower 50s and then clear skies for the most part tomorrow should be looking at temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 on Friday heading into the weekend mid to upper 30s and pretty chilly starting off the weekend as well. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast clear for the most part today a few clouds from time to time but otherwise not doing too bad mid to upper 40s almost identical as we go into tomorrow with temperatures continuing in the mid to upper 40s as we head towards Saturday. Rest of the forecast shows the temperatures heading up by Monday mid to upper 50s by Tuesday chance of rainfall at this time will be possible well not exactly rain if it's cold enough into parts of the mid-south early sunday morning we may see the possibility of some snowfall coming our way again about a 10 percent chance coming up on sunday and that's going to be about it rest of the forecast again very dry after the kind of soggy couple of weeks we've had in the last few days going to be nice to kind of dry out by just a little bit so seeing some much nicer conditions there weather where the troops are this is where we take a look at weather where your friends loved ones or relatives may be serving in the United States military. 40s around Mosul. We've got temperatures again in the 50s down toward the southern part of the country. 
time frame. Again, this is about quarter till nine uh, Iraq time Thursday night as the sun is already set in that area of the world. Temperatures back into around the lower to mid 60s around much of the Persian Gulf area. So we are seeing again a little bit less in the way of anything involving sandstorms, which can happen at this time of the year, but mainly 60s across much of the area here. Into Afghanistan, there was a little bit of cloud cover up around Herat earlier today. Looks like it's still there, close to around 10 o'clock Afghanistan time. 20s around Faizabad and Kabul at 23. 40s down toward Kandahar in the southwestern part of the country. And for the Korean Peninsula, we've got again some rain and snow around the DMZ close to Chunchan right at freezing around Taegu, 43 with rain in Kusan and cloudy, 30s in Seoul, 40s around Kusan, winds a little breezy out of the southwest about 12 miles an hour. This is going to be one of the, where am I going, there, that's the best thing you can do, I can remember I'm pointing in that direction. This is going to be one of the best places you can go to to learn about severe weather. The National Weather Service in Memphis teaching Skywarn spotter training classes. If you'd like to know more, all you have to do is go to weather.gov.gov and then click on the Mid-South and then click on the Skywarn classes up in the upper corner of the screen and that'll take you directly to this information right here. These meetings last about an hour, hour and a half depending on how many questions there are totally free your tax dollars pay for everything so if you'd like to know more just show up note the dates and go to that weather section uh, information we'll have more details available again at these social media pages up at the bottom of the iphone or whatever the phone that is up there in the right above me and you can get again more information about uh, contact details from the national weather service in memphis Again, this is one of the best things you can do to get ready for severe weather season. Ask questions, find out what those radar signatures mean, find out what to do before, during, and after severe weather hits, including special toll-free numbers that will take you right to the National Weather Service in Memphis. If you'd like to know more about what you can do to get ready for severe weather, this right here is your chance to do so. It's a great opportunity, and definitely want to take advantage of that if you can. Don't forget to tune in for more weather information that will be coming up on AM 730 tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh on my forecast that will be on Memphis in the morning first and then sports chat with Talkback Live and whatever app you have again make certain you tune in uh, to your app store whatever platform you have search WREG weather and you can find out more about weather across the Mid-South with our really cool weather app that's been redeveloped over the last couple of years. If you'd like to know more about what this weather blog is all about, or more importantly, what you can see on here, please let us know. Uh, find out more at wreg.com slash weather, or email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. I'll be glad to answer any questions that I can, or again, contact me on social media as you see right above my head up that direction. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the new reinvigorated edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for more coming up throughout the day on News Channel 3, on air and online.